a slow trickle of Headley faithful streamed into the Quebec City show. Despite the latest allegations against frontman Jacob Hogard, he still has a support of dedicated fans. When you saw the, the allegations have come to light, you know, and I don't know if you saw it last night, more allegations came forward, another woman came forward okay. anonymously. Did, no. did that make you pause at all? No, no, not at all. I mean, I'm like I said, I'm, the, I'm here for the music, I'm not here for, and there's nothing, I mean, nothing has been said yet. I mean, they, there's a lot of things that's been said, but we don't know if it's true. The power of their song, it's very important for me because uh, they've helped me, gone through some really rough time in the high school. So just listening to this song, I felt better. Hogard denies all allegations and says everything he did with the latest woman to come forward was consensual. At this time, it's a trial by Twitter. It's uh, Facebook, Twitter, only nothing proven. Some fans with special VIP passes in hand said allegations or not, they don't care. They want their shot at meeting the band. What are you going to use that time to talk to them for? What are you going to say to them? Just say thank you for their music. That kind of loyalty is expected, says this Canadian correspondent for Billboard. She says in the entertainment industry, people often separate the art from the person. I'm not surprised because we're talking thousands of people from all walks of life, different ages, they've paid for the tickets and charges haven't been laid, so maybe they're like, might as well go, what am I going to do with the tickets anyway? Though there was a lot of talk today about this being a trial by Twitter, many fans here say even a police investigation wouldn't shake their faith in the band. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Quebec City. Now, if it weren't for the controversy, Halifax band Neon Dreams would have been on stage in Quebec City tonight, too, as Headley's opening act. It's one of three bands that have backed out of the tour since the allegations surfaced. And band members there have been dealing with angry fans ever since. One thing that I've really taken away from this is we've had a lot of backlash from from, from Headley fans because of the fact that we pulled out. And it, it's given me a lot more insight into the courage that it takes to come out as a victim because there, there, there is a lot of backlash there. We all grew up Headley fans and they were part of our musical journey growing up. Um, so I can understand why some fans may feel that way, but again, the most important thing here is the voice of the victims in the situation. Headley's managers and publicists have now cut ties with the band.